Hello, my name is Asha Finn, and welcome to Kids Zone at Home. Today, we're going to be making bin bag ghosts. Ooh. Oi, get off! <laughs> <laughs> For the first part of the project, you're going to need a plastic bag, a bin bag would do. You can use a white recycling one, or a black bin liner. We're going to go for the white recycling ghost. Next, you're going to need some stuffing. Any stuffing from like an old cushion or a duvet cover would be perfect. So long as anyone whose uh, cushions or covers they are doesn't mind you using it. Then we need to prep our bag. So we're going to open it out. Just like that. Makes a fabulous noise. Then you're going to grab the end, the closed end of the bag, and give it a good shake. Just like that. Then you're going to open it up, ready for the stuffing to go inside. Now let's grab our stuffing. Let's start with a smaller chunk and decide how big we want the ghost's head to be. So we're going to push it right into the end and find a nice spot for it to gather. So that looks like a good spot to have the head. But I think the head's too small for my little ghost. So I'm going to add some more stuffing. Pull off another piece of stuffing. You can give it a good shake so all the stuffing goes right down to the end. Pull the bag through your hands so that the stuffing captures inside. Like that. And there we have it, we have a lovely ghost head. Next, we're going to need our string and a pair of scissors too. This part is to tie around the ghost's neck so that the head stays in the position. So just again, pull the bag through, wrap the string around once, twice, and then tie it nice and secure. We're also going to need some sellotape at this point. So just get a little piece, cut it off, then we're going to attach it to the back of the ghost's head as high up as we can. That way it won't look like the ghost is uh, sort of flopping over. Just like that. Then we're going to cut it. Lovely. That can go to one side now. And there we have most of our ghost ready. Next we're going to prepare the bottom of the ghost's rags so it all looks ghost-like and scary. And you can do this by ripping it. You don't have to be neat at all. The more frayed it looks, the scarier. It can have some holes in it as well. Like that. This is going to make it catch the wind really interestingly when it's floating around. When you're scaring everyone on Halloween. Very scary already. For the next part, we're going to need pens, glue, and googly eyes. I'm going to put those bits to one side while we grab our gorgeous and scary ghost back. So make sure this string is on the back of the head, and we're going to put that back down like that. Then we're going to get our nice felt pen. And we're going to draw a lovely, scary mouth shape. Just go for it. I'm going to go over it one more time. Get it in the creases of the bag. And then we can do it like stitches going across the top. Like that. 
Very scary. Terrifying. <sighs> so we're gonna put our pen to one side, and next we're gonna do the eyes. So we're gonna grab our glue stick and the eye. Stick the eye first. My one's gonna go there. It's gonna go there. Ooh, scary. Then we're gonna grab our pen. And we're just gonna go around the edge of the eye. Like that. Very, very scary. You can ask yourself at this point, is your ghost a nice ghost or a nasty ghost? I know for a fact that my ghost is a naughty ghost. Next, I'm gonna put a little nose on it. It's a skeletal ghost. You can add some other details to the body of your ghost. I'm gonna put some scars, just like that. Quite fabulous. <laughs> A final touch is you can actually make some holes in the ghost's head, pinching very, very tiny little holes in the head. Really, really tiny. Just like that. And then with that, you can just go in and fluff out a little bit of the stuffing like that. And it's like ghost brains are seeping out. Lovely. That's a very scary ghost. Finally, you're gonna get your stick and we're gonna tie your lovely ghost to the stick. This way your ghost can float around and scare everyone on Halloween. Wonderful. Ooh. I hope you have a spooky Halloween.